Academy members. This is a short video series of uh, three sessions that I'm doing in response to some people who have requested to find out a little bit about warm-ups, what we, I might practice or run through before going into a Tai Chi session. Now, the whole question of warm-ups is something that I'd like to go into in a little bit more detail at another stage because partly the form structures are organized in such a way that the moves are easier and they get more challenging as you go through the form and in a sense they serve as warm-ups too. But I know that we all like this idea of doing some sort of drills or work, independent work that can contribute into the quality of our forms. So that's what this mini-series is all about and I'm going to be giving you at three levels. The first is for everyone on the Academy, whether you're a grasshopper or a ninja, you'll get this one which will briefly talk about three different approaches from breath, waist and balance. Then if you want more details and you want more examples, then I'm going to be giving those to the ninjas because I'm assuming that's what you're looking for. And that's where the requests have come from. So if you want more details and you want more examples of what I'm going to talk about now, then join the ninja. Just, I've just become aware that this cup is green. So when I turn this background, which is a green screen backdrop, and if any of you have been reading the articles or watching the webinars about hardware and software that I'm using, I'll try and put a link to those in the show notes somewhere. I've just realized that this, this mug may turn into a different color too, so it's going to be interesting to see. So the first thing we're often told when we're doing warm-ups is to prepare yourself. And the first posture in all the forms is called preparation. And whenever I used to ask my teachers about what this meant, they would say, well, place your mind in your Dantian, which sounded really esoteric and Eastern and mystical. And I used to think, fantastic. Uh, if anyone ever asked me what I'm doing, I'd say, I'm putting my mind in my Dantian. Of course, whenever I had to explain that to someone, uh, I stumbled because I could neither explain the concept in terms that were useful to them, nor really that useful to me. I'm going to focus on another form of preparation, and that is about feeling the air. And the reason we're doing this is because we're trying to switch off this and turn on this. Why do we want to do that? Well, that's partly why we practice Tai Chi. Don't think, feel. Okay, so when we're doing the preparation work, before we go into that first move, whether it be here or whether it be here, however you start, I want you to pause for a moment and relax. Let your body weight drop down to the ground, sink into the floor. And if you've launched my webinar on balance, you'll know we're talking about the three points here, which you mean you haven't seen it, go and watch it. Three points here, I want you to focus on that once with your weights going down into the ground. Soften your knees, etc, etc, shoulders down, chest relaxed, head up, all this stuff you know about. What I'm trying to focus on is the concept of focus. I want you to think about what's going on with your fingertips. Slightly separated, loose hands, I want you to see if you can feel a difference between the heat that's within your hands that you can feel in your fingertips and the air outside of them. That sense of awareness, that sense of connection between ourselves, our physical structure and the changing atomic molecular environment around us is partly what makes the sense of Tai Chi swimming on dry land, moving through a substance meaningful. So we focus initially on that idea of sensitivity. 
And when you can feel something there, I want you to see if you can feel it somewhere else. I start with the fingers because that's awfully easy. Or the palms. What about the side of your face? Can you feel a temperature difference between the air here and your face? Can you feel the movement of air going around your neck, across your head? Perhaps again on your wrists or the back of your hands or on the hairs on your forearms? What about the hairs in your nose? Can you feel the air coming in to your, as breath and out again? Where does it go when it comes in? Does it come in just to your throat and leap straight out? Can you feel it in your chest? Can you feel it in your abdomen? Where can you feel it? So all those ideas I want you not to run through, not to um, analytically critically think about, but I want you to explore the idea of engaging with your environment on a sensual basis. That's how we start and that will feed in to the way that we perform our moves. So the second exercise is going to be about the waist. Now in the classics, the Tai Chi classics, it talks about your body moves as one, when one part stops it all starts, when one part moves it all moves, and that the waist is the driving force, the upper body is the expression of what's happening down here. So what do we do to loosen that? Well I've done it before and I'm going to show it to you very basically here. Three movements. Firstly, just keeping your weight into the direction you turn, sinking down into that leg. Arms relax and come back to the center, sink the other side, come back to the center. And that's just a rotational movement here. Feet flat on the floor, they don't come up. Keep your head still, allow it just to turn with the rest of your body. Arms relaxed, moving from side to side. That's one way of connecting to the waist. And if we don't have that connection with the waist, then our movements just become robotic. How else can we develop that relationship with the waist? Well, the second exercise is to pick up the toes on the heel, keep that knee bent, and again turn, come back, heel, back, heel, back, heel. So it's the same, but this time the weight's in the back leg as you turn out. Finally, number three, the ball of the foot. You raise the heel, so this time, same thing, sitting in the back, but this time the heel's off the ground, not on the floor. That's where it was before, this is where it is now. Once again, turn back, turn. Arms again, you don't control them. The whole idea is you don't hold on to them and doing something like a fist punch or a block or some form of uh, Kwai Chen Kane move. No, you're just leaving them relaxed. What will happen, will happen. And that's it. That's your waist exercises. So if you're going to look at some sort of preparation work, the easiest thing that you can do is sensation, focus on sensory awareness, loosen up your waist. And the third one is balance. Well, I've already mentioned the three points. If you want to work more on balance, have you seen my 30 day challenge? The one where you hold on to a chair or a substance, pick up your foot, put it down again, pick it up, put it down. That's the first few days. The second week in this month is to do small kicks out to say knee height or shin height. Just four or eight as much as you can and then out to the side here. Then as you develop the strength of the ligaments and the tendons, you pick it up the pace a little bit, so this time your feet come forward and the leg goes out to the side a little bit more. So if I just move over just a little bit here, you're doing slightly more forward, maybe 4, 8 or 12, and then out to the side for 8 or 12, coming back, changing over to the other leg. So you can do this as you're brushing your teeth, waiting for a kettle, Whilst having a cup of tea. <laughs> Best thing to do is try and call.
incorporate it into your daily routines. That way they'll have significance and they'll overlap, they'll overflow into your daily behavior. And that is what you want. That's it for warm-ups for grasshoppers. That should keep you going for a bit. Again, if you want more details, I'm going to do two more of these now. Pushing up the level, given a variety of different warm-up routines, and they'll be on for ninjas only. So if you're interested in pushing up your training level, jump over from grasshopper to ninja level. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you very soon. <laughs>